Yields, the gentlewoman from Texas. I urge a yes vote on this bill and yield back the balance of my time. The gentlewoman yields back the balance of her time. The gentlewoman from New York is recognized. Mr. Speaker, the hour is late. Vote yes, and I yield back. She yields back. The gentlewoman yields back. The question is, will the House suspend the rules and pass the bill H.R. 6201 as amended? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed, no. In the opinion of the chair, two-thirds being in the affirmative, the rules are suspended. Mr. Speaker, I ask for the yeas and nays. And the yeas and nays are requested. Those favoring a vote by the yeas and nays will rise. A sufficient number having risen, the yeas and nays are ordered. Members will record their votes by electronic device. This is a 15-minute vote. And a final vote now here in the House on H.R. 6201. It's the Families First Coronavirus Response Act. It includes paid sick leave, enhanced unemployment insurance, and increased federal funds for Medicaid to support health systems. If it passes the House, it still needs to be passed in the Senate. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer released a statement saying it was irresponsible and out of touch for the Senate to go out of town for the weekend in the middle of a public health crisis. The Senate did cancel its planned recess, though, for next week and is expected back Monday. On this vote, the yeas are 363, the nays are 40. One recorded as present, two-thirds being in the affirmative. The rules are suspended, the bill is passed, and without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table. The members are asked to take their conversations off the floor. The gentleman from Maryland is recognized. I thank the uh, speaker, Mr. Speaker. The, as I said, the House has now spoken in a clear voice and approved this bipartisan bill. If there are any developments that would require members to return before our scheduled return date of March 23rd, 24 hours notice will be provided. I want to thank all members for their patience as leaders on both sides worked hard to negotiate the coronavirus response legislation the House has now adopted. Much remains to be done, but we have done good work last week on behalf of the American people and a good work this week on behalf of the American people, and I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields back. For what purposes does the gentlewoman from Wyoming seek recognition? Mr. Speaker, by direction of the House Republican Conference, I send to the desk a privileged resolution and ask for its immediate consideration. The clerk will report the resolution. House Resolution 903 resolved that the following name member be and is hereby ranked as follows on the following standing committee of the House of Representatives, Committee on the Judiciary, Mr. Jordan to rank before Mr. Collins of Georgia. Without objection, the resolution is agreed to and the motion to reconsider is laid on the table. For what purpose does a gentlewoman from New York seek recognition? Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that in the engrossment of the bill, H.R. 6201, the clerk be authorized to make technical corrections and conforming changes to the bill. For what purpose does a gentleman from Mississippi seek recognition? Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that the Committee on Homeland Security and the Committee on Energy and Commerce be discharged from further consideration of H.R. 6160, and I ask for its immediate consideration in the House. The clerk will report the title of the bill. H.R. 6160, a bill to extend the Chemical Facility Anti-Terrorism Standards Program of the Department of Homeland Security. Is there objection to the consideration of the bill? Without objection, the bill is engrossed read a third time and passed, and the motion to reconsider is laid on the table. The chair lays before the House the following enrollments. Senate 1678, an act to express United States support for Taiwan's diplomatic alliances around the world. Uh, 
Okay. The chair will now entertain requests for one-minute speeches. For what purpose does a gentleman from New Jersey seek recognition? Without objection, the gentleman is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to honor Ruby White Whittle Smith on the occasion of her 100th birthday. Ms. Smith has been a district resident for 95 years. She was born in South Hill, Virginia on March 15th of 1920 and moved to Orange, New Jersey five years later. Ms. Smith graduated from Orange High School and later the New York Institute of Dietetics. She started her career as a hospital dietitian and worked at Community Hospital in Newark, New Jersey. Then she spent 30 years as a clerk at Western Electric, but she is known and loved for her passions. Her dedication to New Hope Baptist Church in East Orange, her enjoyment of Denzel Washington movies, and her love of peppermints and bingo. So happy birthday to Ruby Ann Whittle Smith. She is truly 100 years young. And with that, I yield back. Gentleman yields back. For what purpose does the gentleman from Texas seek recognition? Address the House for one minute. Without objection, the gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It is quite sad. Something this important had this kind of procedure. Now, I got a bill at around 9 o'clock or so. Uh, I was told it was the most recent draft. I read through that, and I got through it in time to have a number of questions, highlighted, tagged, and then we, I wasn't able, my staff was trying to get a copy of the bill we were going to vote on and get it right before the buzzer goes off. We're going to have a, a vote in 15 minutes. This is no way to handle something so important, part of which my problem, my concerns, and questions I couldn't get answered are going to put some people out of business. And I get over here, and people had not read it, so they can't answer my questions. This is no way to handle billions and billions of dollars when we're trying to help people, and we don't even know whether we'll help them or hurt them. I yield back. Gentleman yields back for all purposes. A gentlewoman from Illinois seek recognition. Without objection, the gentlewoman is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The, the hour is late, uh, but I wanted to rise to speak to my constituents. We are facing a novel illness in the coronavirus, and I know that many are feeling nervous and uncertain uh, with this type of disease, but I want to remind my community in Northern Illinois that we have some tools at our disposal, common sense solutions like making sure to wash our hands and use hand sanitizer, to sanitize frequently touched surfaces, and to re refrain from touching our faces. But we also need to make sure that we are extending common courtesies and kindness and respect to our neighbors. And if you're feeling sick, stay home. And if you're really feeling sick, please call ahead to your health care provider so that they can be ready to accommodate you. Together, our country will survive the coronavirus and make it through this challenging time. And with that, I yield back. Gentlewoman yields back. For what purpose does a gentlewoman from Texas seek recognition? Without objection, the gentlewoman is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, as I stand before the words, in God we trust, tonight we took a vote to save the lives of our fellow Americans. I'm very glad that what we did today was for families, health care worker protections, emergency paid leave, emergency unemployed insurance, paid six days for public health emergencies, and personal and family care. I will go home to my district and convene meetings uh, regarding those who are dealing with education, health care, and testing. But the main thing that we must do is we must test every single American uh, that is showing signs or needs. And what we have in this bill is to provide 
free testing. But in addition, we have organized the bipartisan Congressional Coronavirus Task Force. We're doing that to engage with members as they are away in their districts. This is the most contagious, more contagious uh, than the flu and more deadly. Let us be assured that we take care of the American people. I intend to do so in my state of Texas and intend to make sure that resources go to save lives. In God we trust. I yield back. The gentlewoman yields back. The chair lays before the House the following personal request. Leave of absence requested for Mr. Lewis of Georgia for Friday, March 13th. Without objection, the request is granted. Pursuant to Section 7B of House Resolution 891, the House stands adjourned until 11 a.m. on Monday, March 16th, 2020.